Greetings, Bloodborne Guru here, with a guide on how to find the weapons of Bloodborne. The your cage. To get this sword, you need to join the Canehurst Vilebloods Covenant by speaking to Annalise, Queen of the Vilebloods, who appears at Canehurst Castle after beating Marta Lagarius. Once you have joined the Covenant, it can be purchased from the messengers for 50,000 blood echoes. Ludwig's Holy Blade. This weapon can be purchased for 20,000 echoes from the Bath Messengers after obtaining the Radiant Sword Hunter badge. The badge is in a chest on the top floor of the Healing Church Workshop, which you get to by taking the elevator next to the Cathedral Ward Lab. The Hunter Axe. It is possible to pick this as a starting weapon at the beginning of the game. If not chosen, it becomes viral after the player has found the Saw Hunter badge. You get the badge by beating the second boss, Father Gascoigne, or it can be found behind the giant boar in the sewers on a corpse. Kirk Hammer. The Kirk Hammer can be purchased from the messengers after defeating the cleric beast. The Beast Claw. The Beast Claw can be found in a chest on layer two of the ailing Loran Chalice dungeon. The Threaded Cane. Acquired at the beginning of the game from the messengers. If you don't select it, you may buy it after acquiring the Saw Hunter badge in the tunnel with the giant pig below the bridge to Father Gascoigne. The Burial Blade can be purchased from the messengers for 60,000 blood echoes in New Game Plus after completing the game. The Rifle Spear. Inside a hidden building in Old Yarnum, from the area you fight the first NPC hunter with all the mist coming from the ground, drop down where the railing is missing in the corner and land on the ledges below. This leads to a house with the weapon inside. The Saw Cleaver. Starter equipment acquired the first time you visit the Hunter's Dream. If you don't select it, you may buy it after acquiring the Saw Hunter badge in the tunnel with the giant pig, below the bridge to Father Gascoigne. Lagarius Wheel. Speak to Alfred by the doors that lead to the Forbidden Woods after you find the summons letter by Annalise, Queen of the Vilebloods in Canehurst Castle. He will give you the badge to buy the weapon from the messengers when you give him the letter. The Blade of Mercy. Can be purchased from the messengers after obtaining the Crow Hunter badge from Eileen the Crow's questline, or from her corpse if you kill her. Tenetris. You can find this weapon on a corpse in the Unseen Village, guarded by a few enemies. From the Hypogean Gaul Lamp, leave the building from the doorway straight ahead and turn left. The weapon is at the very end of the path. You can buy it from the messengers after defeating the Dark Beast Pile Boss for 26,000 blood echoes. Don't know how you pronounce this one, but this weapon is inside a chest in Cadehurst Castle, or it can be purchased from the Bath Messenger for 18,000 blood echoes after speaking to Annalise, Queen of the Vilebloods, inside the Castle Throne Room. State Driver. Defeat Jora in Old Yarnum, the enemy who fires the gun at you from the tower, which gives you the Powder Keg Badge to unlock and purchase it at the Messengers for 8,000 blood echoes. The Saw Spear. The Saw Spear can be bought at the Bath Merchant for a thousand blood echoes after defeating Father Gasboy. Or you can find the Saw Hunter badge behind the giant boar in the sewers which unlocks it in the Bath Merchant also. You can also find it on a corpse that needs to be cut down from the rafters by where you meet Eileen the Crow for the first time. The Hunter Pistol. This is a starting weapon gifted to you by the messengers if you choose it. Otherwise you can buy it from the messengers after you have defeated the first boss. Hunter Blunderbuss. This is the other firearm that can be chosen at the start of the game. Repeating Pistol can be purchased from the Bath Merchant after defeating the Cleric Beast. Bloodwig's Rifle. From the Cathedral Ward Lamp after defeating the Bloodstarved Beast, proceed through the right side exit which will now be open. The Radiant Sword Hunter Badge is found in a chest at the top of the tower. This unlocks the weapon at the Bath Messenger for 10,000 Blood Echoes. The Cannon, found in the Forbidden Woods inside a building before the area with the giant snakes. You need to walk into the building behind the enemy who is shooting the cannon. 
Stay above and exit on the opposite end of where you entered, and drop down from the ledge onto the exterior roof. Go up the ladder which leads back inside the building. Follow the walkway to the other side and look for another slightly lower hanging walkway. Drop down to there and circle around where you will find the cannon on a corpse. The Flame Sprayer. Speak to the NPC called Gilbert in the window right behind the central Yadam lamp. He will give you the weapon once you have spoken to him a few times and defeated the Father Gascoigne boss. It will also eventually become available to buy for 8,000 echoes from the Vath Messenger after progressing through the game. Ross Marinus. Can be bought for 60,000 blood echoes from the messengers after obtaining the Cosmic Eye Watcher badge, which can be found in the upper cathedral ward. From the lamp, go down the side path next to the stairs that leads into the building to find the badge on a corpse. The torch. This can be found on a corpse next to the brick troll who's banging on the doors in Central Yardum. Wooden Shield. This can be found on a corpse of the big stairway right after the cathedral ward lantern. The Hunter's Torch. Sold by Bath Messenger for 2,000 blood echoes. Evelyn. Found inside a chest in the library with the ghost woman in Kanehurst Castle. Climb up the step ladder and jump over the table to get to the chest. It will also be sold by the messengers after joining the Kanehurst Vilebloods in the castle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the Annette Rage playthrough of a fool who didn't follow these guides. Farewell. Hey, pal. My turn. No, you don't stop the power of the Megarax! You can't even compare with it, Bird! Nothing should be able to interrupt the Megarax swing, ever. Not even an atom bomb.